Welcome, Facebook. Hello, my people. To another episode of Tweed Talks. Okay, so today we have uh, our friend, you know, would you say that, would you, yeah. would you start out by saying that they are friends, because mm -hmm. they are all our friends. Everyone that I have on Facebook is people that I actually met mm -hmm. for maybe, maybe about 10 or so, or the people that I have that I haven't met. Okay. And, and one, of the, one of these days we're going to do a show on just the people that we haven't met but we can't wait to meet. That would be funny. That, that would be hysterical. Yeah. And you know, we actually met people uh, on Facebook um, hey guys. Just, just because they have my last name. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so hello, Zach, cousin. <laughs> um, we never met him, but you know, he's one of the people that I'm thinking about. Um, Louise is on. Hi, Louise. Louise. Hello, my favorite couple. Louise, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Karen, I see you just popped on. Um, I think that's Charles's picture. So before before we bring Charles in, I, oh. I just have to say something. Well, do you want me to say, you know, or, or formats usually I tell people how we met. <laughs> we have a format? I really just thought she, we, we she just don't know. She ad lived and she we just, just wing it. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of. I well, go ahead. You can um, tell Especially us. today because, you know, we have Charles. Okay. Yeah. So how we met Charles, we met him at the Action Martial Art. Yeah. And he came to our table and said, um, hey, can I sit on your table? He was actually... Well, the, well actually, the first year we were all yes, sitting at the same... At the same table, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And um, we were receiving all words. We took some pictures. It was an instant friendship, yes, you know, from there definitely. on. Uh, we looked for each other. Out, and I saw him at the... Um, Hi, Daniel. Uh, hey, Hi, Daniel. Jenna. And saw him at, Hi, at, at, at Urban also. We saw him there. And, mm -hmm. you know, like we do, we take some pictures. These are all um, martial arts events that, that Pedro is talking about. We frequent them... At least a couple of them. At least at, at least, least a two during the year. We, we try to make it all, but you know, we and the gymnastic yeah, um, kind of keep us busy. Mm -hmm. But we try to make it all. Yeah. So, what story do you okay, have? Okay, so earlier we did this promo, right? Mm -hmm. And we always do like a little tease and give you guys a little tidbits about what to expect. So, we're doing the promo, and I'm like, oh, okay, let me just announce the name of, of Charles's book and stuff like that. So, I'm reading the book I read. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I get on live, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I, I can't physically say the name of the book. Thomas the Autonomous Hippopotamus. For some reason, I could not get that out. Now, the, here's why that's funny. <laughs> here's yeah. why that's funny. Okay. Because... When I first started acting, right, and and you already know this, right, right, I know. When I first, started, I know where you're going with this story. When I first started acting, all I did pretty much was um, educational videos, legal, legal, edu legal, legal educational videos, medical educational medical. videos, right. and these videos had the craziest legal. And it's really the medical jargon that you would ever read. Mm -hmm. And I'm popping the words off. Boom, 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 Like boom, she was boom. a doctor. I thought she was a doctor. Like literally like ankylosing spondylitis is a form of rheumatoid arthritis that, <laughs> that primarily causes inflammation between the joints of the vertebrae. No problem saying that. But Thomas the, the autonomous book. hippopotamus, I could not say. So Charles, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. And... That has never ever happened before, and yeah, I had a check. I got it now, so I, I'm I had to a check her temperature after that because <laughs> <laughs> she never makes a um, mistake like that. Oh, uh, crazy. Um, I didn't take a chance with my accent, you know. We don't, we would, don't know what that would have come out as. <laughs> I don't know what you may come out with something, you know. One of the words that we have banned that on your <laughs> banned list. That yes, you I have a banned list. Um, so when I speak, there's certain things that I'm not allowed to say. Like fork. Mm -hmm. Focus. Now, when you get to the road, you take the, the, yeah, the, fork. the spoon in the road. Yes, you so just, just like go that. to the left. I'm uh, not allowed to say this because, you know, <laughs> people think I got to go to the bathroom. Okay, so... Let's find out if Charles is there now. Yeah, so I see. I can't see, so I'm just getting close to the 
camera. Don't mind my face. I don't mind your face, honey. I appreciate it, honey. Okay, so. So we're gonna bring Charles in. And we're just gonna have fun with this because I'm, um, you know, we're friends and, and like I said, we are friends with all the people that we have. Charles, I just sent you an invite. There we go. And as so always, we're gonna wait a little bit. Yes. People are just getting used to this. Mm -hmm. I think we we should do an instructional thing or how to, how to get on on Facebook Live. I don't know how well that would work because I just feel like even. Well, we'll do a practice one. You know, <laughs> we'll do a practice one. I have my phone. Yes, we should. And practice. then we then we record that and then people will know how to how to do that. I'm adding you now, Charles. Hey. And we can hear you clearly. And we could hear you. That's good. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. I'm, We're I'm super good. So excited to have you on. We have several people watching, so you must be a very popular guy. <laughs> Just a little. Just, Just a little? A, okay. Little? Okay. 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 You're modest, too. A uh, little bit humble, yeah. okay. Yeah, you don't do anything big, you know, it has to be little by little. <laughs> little you know? by little, that's right. Yeah, little by little. So we are so excited to have you on, Charles. You are like our fifth or sixth guest, and we're just really enjoying doing this so we can get to know our friends better and our audience can get to know and you introduce guys better. to our audience, yes, right? A nice intro. So, um, awesome. today we have on Sensei Charles Heimlich author and actor and i'm sure you do a bunch of other things too charles but we are glad to have you on today thank you oh thank you for having me. it's a pleasure so and charles, uh, great seeing you guys charles has written a couple different books and we're actually going to go in a different direction today because one of the really important books that he has written is called all um 911 safety manual for women so um, it talks about self-defense. Am I right, Charles? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And since this one was so hard for you to say, we won't, we won't discuss it. You weren't listening because I said it perfectly like two minutes ago. <laughs> I know, right. I know. I'm going to have to say it later on just so I could, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> um, so tell us a little so, bit about the 911 safety manual for women. So here it is. The mm -hmm. 911 safety manual for women. Um, I'll tell you what, it, uh, it took me years to write it, so I'm really proud of it. Um, I, I actually specialize in women, so did you guys hear me okay? Am I talking yes, too loud? Yes, I hear you. All mm -hmm. right, so it took me a long time uh, to get this written and um, to get all the pictures. All the pictures that are in the book are all my students. So it's, mm, it's, okay. it's, it's all me, it's all my students, it's, all, it's years of, of training and teaching. And uh, I specialize in women's self-defense, so I thought it was important that I write a book so that, that I... Uh-oh, you froze. I don't know what just happened. Charles froze. Uh, he must be on his end. So, yeah. so he wrote in a self-defense book for women. Mm -hmm. And see if we get him back and... You know, I used to teach self-defense for women at the college. Right, so we right. have that in common. I, I think that it's a very important uh, Karen, let's actually hear from her for a minute and invite and if you need to come in. I might have you, um, our, our, our audience. Oh, there he is. So let's see if we can get him back on. I'm sorry. Are you there? Are you? Yes. Okay. Back. Sorry. I don't know what happened. I thought uh, you were so doing anyway, Qigong. I'm sorry? I thought you were doing still Qigong. You know, we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so my apologies. Uh, but um, so the, in the book and uh, on the cover is actually my students. 
and uh, it took me a while to write it, so I'm real proud of it. And I think it's a book that every single library should have. And it's really not just for women because it has great self-defense techniques. So it can be for anyone, actually. So men, women, children uh, can all learn from it. Um, but it mm -hmm. is based on women's personal intentions. Right. I, I think it's very important, especially in, on these days, mm -hmm. right. because um, there's a lot of things going on. And it's exactly. better to be aware. I think I didn't I didn't get your book, but I'm gonna get it. Um, okay. Because awareness is the first line of self defense. You know, and when when I used to teach at the college and I used to teach self defense, I would make my student paranoid first, because they would be looking everywhere. But you also, I think I saw something on your book that says that you also make it more confident. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Definitely builds confidence. So, All martial arts builds confidence. So that's important that you have the uh, confidence. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Right. So what inspired you to write the book in the first place? So like I said, I was uh, my, it was one of my pet peeves. I was law enforcement uh, mm -hmm. as well. So over the years of teaching and, and uh, I, I wanted to specialize in women's self-defense because mm -hmm. I thought I knew how important it was for women to actually know how to protect themselves from all kinds right. of circumstances, uh, being law enforcement. I've seen a lot of things. So I know how important. And, and I tried to do women's self-defense seminars, workshops. I've done them for years mm -hmm. uh, throughout. I live in New Jersey, so I've done it all throughout the um, South Jersey, New Jersey areas, um, and the Delaware Valley. And uh, some, a lot of them free because – I tried to get people to really learn uh, because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, they don't want to do seminars because it costs money. So I put a lot of them out there free and still had mm -hmm. a hard time. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. women just don't feel like they need it. And uh, it's, it's one of those things. I, I try to talk to them about it and say, oh, this is something really important. You know, and I always get the same excuses, you know, well, my husband is seven foot tall, 300 pounds. So, He'll mm -hmm. protect. Uh oh. So yeah, you still got. And then I also get like God will protect me, and you know it's a shame because um, he's not. <laughs> you know the bottom line is you got to protect yourself. That's the bottom line. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Um. Well, even like like I say that about my husband, but there are times where we're not together. Believe mm -hmm. it or not. We're not always together. Yeah. So right? when you're by yourself. You're not going to have that guy with you, so you need to know. I, I think that is very, very important. And also to, not just to um, adult women, but also to our young teenage girls. I think that's, that's right. very important. Yes, absolutely. That's right. yep. I, I don't like people to work in fear, but to work in awareness. Mm -hmm. And the more awareness they have, you know, with your book, for instance, if they learn something from there, at least they know that they could do something. But yeah, you, that's actually the book. Have, yes. Yeah, because if they could do something, they would feel more comfortable. Sure. They know something. Yeah. Right. But if, awareness, if don't, awareness and being, right. Being aware and being alert will make you 98% safer by itself. So, yeah, that's, that's right. very cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Well, t tell us a little bit about some of the chapters so the audience out there know. Mm hmm. So there's um, some of the chapters. Okay, that's a good one. Um, you know, I have a crime clock built into, there's a crime clock there, uh, uh -huh. which gives statistics. And I, and I get it. I get statistics are, are scary. Um, uh -huh. but I always tell, I always tell the, the women that, that come to my seminars, you know, they, they say that they're getting scared. And I said, look, I'm mm -hmm. not trying to scare you. I'm trying to educate you. And that's right. yeah, so the statistics, yes, they are scary. But that's why they're scared, because you're not learning how to protect yourself. So, you know, that's if right. we can teach people more to protect themselves, and we wouldn't have the alarming statistics that we do have. So, uh, so that's in there, awareness, uh, criminal awareness. There's mm -hmm. all kinds of categories. And then, of course, then I break it down into self-defense techniques. There's uh, several pages, and they're simplified. Uh, simplified so that that even the novice person that doesn't know anything 
can actually do these techniques without any difficulty and they will work. I also have my number and a way to get in touch with me so that if anybody wants to further train or has questions about the technique, I can explain it to them and I can show them on video. And there's also a certification at the end of the book where a mm -hmm. student who studies this and does all the techniques in here, uh, there's a certification in here. They can fill it out and, and I would authorize it as a certified personal protection um, Okay. Very cool. So, so they yeah. could uh, teach under that. So actually, well, that, that actually that's one of my my um, goals is actually to teach basic things so that they can actually go out and they can show other people and they can get back okay. to me and then I can help mm. grow this so that it grows and grows and grows. Yes. So, yeah. That's it. Yep. And you just opened a new dojo a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, got to be exciting. Is, yeah, well, some people say I'm super free for doing that in the middle of COVID. But uh, you know what? <laughs> I got an opportunity. And mm -hmm. you know what? We, we're we martial artists. And we shall always be quick to seize opportunities. So I did. That's right. That's great. Well, they said, um, you know, there's a saying that uh, it's better to be ready without the opportunity than, than to have the opportunity and not be ready. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> so if, if, that's what, that, if that's what called you, then you have to do it. Yeah. It doesn't matter what situation is outside. Correct. So were you able to open yet, Charles? Or um, are you still preparing to open when? We, we, we're we open with stipulations um, from the state uh, remain, re remaining, you know, maintaining uh, certain distances and uh, wearing a mask and things like that. But, uh, you know, I, I do have to get a temperature gone because they suggest that I take temperatures before anybody comes in. Uh, so I'll, I will be doing that as well. We, we don't really have a lot of students right now because we're just opening up. So I'm, I'm actually working on marketing and stuff. So we only have a couple right now. So it's not that serious right now. And so, yeah, we're, we're looking to go, though. We're going, um, I believe it's in two weeks that we can um, be full time. So, yeah, in the state oh, of New wow. Jersey. People, well, people are going to be ready to get out of the house and do something. They'll probably need to take out some of that pent up energy on like a heavy bag or something. And, and what's better than to go to a martial arts school and, and start doing that? So I'm going to read a comment, actually. There's a couple comments. All right. That's good. <laughs> well, actually, um, Louise said uh, situational awareness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Daniel That's Miller, cool. confidence, you're nothing. That's right. And Karen Breuer, which we're back and forth with Karen all the time. We know she's one of your students. I have, uh, what did she say? There. He's a really good teacher. Trust me. I'm learning and I love it. So that's really, really good. Some good positive feedback. I love it when people make live comments. So if, the, if there's ever a question, we could ask you live and get a response. So that's really good. Okay. So um, you got a bunch of other stuff coming up. I know, don't you? Yeah, actually, yeah, I have uh, I have three film projects, so I'm real, real three happy. Three film now. projects. Yeah, um, I'm right now working with Franklin Korea uh, up in North Jersey, and uh, that's called The Prey. So I have a mm -hmm. couple scenes, and it's a fighting scene, and uh, but I get killed again. So we actually have a movie oh. coming out called Extraction Point. That's coming out this summer. And so uh, that that's hopefully that comes out soon. I have to talk to mm -hmm. him about that. Uh, I that's also have uh, Andrew Potential Shields, producer and director and actor, uh, which is doing a movie called um, Pangea. So I'm going to be doing. Actually, I'm going to be doing fight choreography and and I have nice. some scenes. Wow! Well, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Too. That is awesome. Coming out of quarantine, throwing punches, huh? Right. Yeah. Oh, so right. one then, more thing. You just you. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead and finish. Uh, I I just got, I just got a, a a major call, and I'm so proud of this one. Um, uh, I got a call from, uh, producer director Tyrone Bullock, and mm -hmm. uh, the movie is uh Dragon. It's the uh, Dragon Squad. So I'm going to be okay. part of that team as well. So I'm real excited about that. Yeah. That's with Sonny Singh and a few other big names as well. So awesome. big one. That is awesome. That's Charles. good. You're going to be busy after this. Now you said um, you said fight choreographer. We just yes. talked to a, a fight choreographer 
you know, a couple days ago. And I know there's, <laughs> there's a funny story about that's that. That's a funny story. Um, I'll let you tell it. <laughs> I know you said that I was there. Wait, first of all, did I introduce you or? <laughs> did you introduce me to what? To, to art? To art, yeah. <laughs> I knew art for years. But here's, here's the story, okay? We were at the, um, the event, as you know. This was the last event uh, in January. Mm -hmm. And I had a table. My table was actually uh, a, two tables in front of Art Camacho's table, right? So me and Karen, Karen was running the table for me, and I'm, and I'm running around doing all the things that I was doing, going back and forth mm -hmm. to my table. And I waited all day to see Art. And his table was always crowded. He was always speaking to someone. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. So Karen finally says, oh, look, there's nobody there. You can go see him. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Sonny Singh was going around. I was talking to Sonny a few minutes before that. So <laughs> Sonny's over there with, uh, with Samuel Kwok, and, and he's screaming for me. And he's like, come here, come here, come here. So I walk up to Art Camacho, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'll be right back. I got to go. And I run to him. <laughs> To Sonny and, and Art says, oh, well, oh, Art don't meet, you don't know Art? You don't know Art Camacho? You don't know me? And I'm like, oh, my God. That's a funny story. I was like, no, I didn't mean it like that at all. He knows I love him. So it was just one of them. It was funny. And and Art has not let go of that since. So, oh, my gosh. Art, I'm sorry. It wasn't supposed to be like that. It's a, it is a funny story, though, because I ran over to Sonny Singh and just left him there. But, um, yeah. oh, well. <laughs> I waited all day Let to see not. him. So. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His well, he was right, really busy. Right there. I'm sorry? He was really busy, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 They were always busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, all the tables were so busy all day, all weekend. So many of the tables were busy all weekend. It was very difficult to, to try to talk to everybody. I mean, how hard? Mm -hmm. I never even got to see Mayweather. I didn't even get a chance to talk to him at all. Never got oh, that was his okay. class? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this past one. Yeah. 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 So, yeah I have a picture. I have a picture of you with Arca Machu behind you. So I know exactly where it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to send it to you. Um, okay. Yeah, you guys were right Let me there. ask you. <laughs> yes, yeah. I was there. Was um, let me ask you this because, I, you know, I'm always interested in how did you get into the martial art? How did I get into it? About 37 years ago, um, well, actually, I, I grew up in a rough neighborhood, and it was very difficult, and we had difficult times, and you had to fight to survive. It was really going through those times, and uh, I always really, I loved Bruce Lee, and I loved all the stuff about martial arts, you know, and I always wanted to do it, and uh, my parents were like, no, no way, you can't do it, you know, and, and so I wasn't allowed. And so I just swore to myself one day I would do it. And so um, I graduated high school. I still had the interest. And I wound up getting married. And as soon as I got married, I signed up for karate. So I uh, kind of did the same thing, <laughs> you know. And, of course, um, you know, my, my wife thought that, it, you know, she was like, okay, don't put a little pimp in the thing. Well, you know, 37 years later, I'm, I'm still there. Uh, no, no, no. So, yeah, so become... I had, always had an interest, and I really loved it. And I'll tell you a quick mm -hmm. story. When I really fell in love with karate, I was, uh, I was like a yellow belt, you know, and uh, my sensei told me to, to go out and spar with this girl who was uh, a, a green belt. And I said, uh -oh. I, I can't spar a girl. I don't want to hurt her, you know? And and I <laughs> thought I could fight, you know? And um, he's like, go out there and you spar with her. I was like, okay, okay. So I figured I'd go out there and I won't touch her. You know, it'll be easy. But she lit me up, you know? And <laughs> uh, she, she dropped me with a kick, came around with a spinning back fist. And I was wow. like, wow, this stuff is real, you know? So I fell in love with it and never stopped since. And her wow. name was Laura Greeno. She went on to become a, a police officer as well. Oh, Great. okay. All right. That's very funny because uh, a lot of people ask us, uh, how did we meet? How, how did we meet? And I said that I, it was a kick at first sight. <laughs> she threw a that. kick and I, 
I was in love. The kid's first son. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You got a degree. <laughs> Um, so tell, tell our viewers a little bit about the style of martial arts that you teach. So I started off with, uh, Goju Ru. Uh, Goju is a great style. Um, I like it because, and, and, you know, the, the old thing is, you know, what's the best style. They're all great. There's, there's nothing wrong with any style. They're all great. The, the thing that I like about us is that it's a uh, hard and soft. Goju, go means hard. Goju means yeah. soft. Ru is style, Goju Ru. Uh, so it's a hard soft style. It's also uh, well balanced. It's 50% kicks, 50% hands. Um, so it's a very balanced art. That's what I like a lot about it. Um, and it's got like, it's got a lot of influence in Aikido and uh, Ishin Ru and stuff like that. It's a Japanese art. So it's very, uh, we do the American version under uh Dr. Peter Urban, who brought Goju Peter to America Urban, yeah. in 1950. Right, yeah, Peter Urban, yeah. He brought it to America in 1956 from Okinawa. And uh, he was a direct student of Yamaguchi, uh, the mm -hmm. cat. And I actually trained under, uh, well, I started with Rick Cassetta, who was a, a direct descendant yeah. of Urban. And then I went under Urban um, a few years later as well. So I, I got a chance to work with him, too. So it was great. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You know, and all comes from Sensei Miyagi, from the Karate Kid. Mm -hmm. Mr. Miyagi. Mm -hmm. Mr. Miyagi. Close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have quite a few people watching. Are actually, um, there's a gentleman no, named watch. Art Camacho that's watching. Um, oh, hey, Art. <laughs> um, Hello, and Art. a friend of a friend of mine, Everett Kali, is asking, "Do you have online classes?" You know what? We're trying to start it up, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm hesitating, but I'm going to have them soon. Great. Look okay, Everett. So you heard that straight from Charles Heimlich himself. They're going to be starting those soon. Um, and also, Adam is on. Adam. Adam. Oh, coach Adam. Adam is one of my students. Yeah. That tongue coach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Um, you are also teaching him a little martial art. Yeah, I was teaching him a little martial art. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But he wanted to do mostly movie. You know. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So hi, hi, Adam. <laughs> yes, hi, Adam. I'm just hi, scrolling Adam. to see just to make sure, <laughs> make sure we get all the comments because, um, you know, we don't want to leave anyone out. Um, let's see. Oh, Lady Lelaine Medina Reed was watching. So that's great. Who else? We got? Yeah, I met her in um, Vegas. I met Lady. Mm hmm I just saw Louise Goslin said something about doing seminars. So me and her yes. actually have been talking for a long time. Hello. Hello. Uh, Thank Louise. you, Louise. Yeah. We, we've we been talking and discussing doing some more videos. So we will be doing some um, personal protection videos together. And she's great. Mm -hmm. she's awesome. 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 Um, so your uh, Charles's Dojo is located in South Jersey. We will make sure we put the n phone number the address for when they start doing classes, but you can call and get information from him. Um, the website, if you click on his website, charlesheimlich.com, um, and well, heimlichskarate.com, that's the one I went to, and click on the, the, like the bookstore, it will take you right to Amazon, which is where you can purchase the books. I want to get the, um, the self-defense book. And, and I also want to get Thomas, the autonomous hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Yeah, see, see. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try that. <laughs> oh like my gosh. I said, Yeah, uh, maybe later. You know, after we go oh. off, we <laughs> off the air. So yeah. <laughs> when do you start? When do you start filming? Um, do you do you have a filming date coming up? Because I know they're loosening up restrictions for film projects and stuff like that. We, we've been, for the second film that I told you about, we've been shooting for it. We were, we okay. were actually shooting at the, um, oh, okay. At uh, five o'clock. So it was running, my schedule was running tight with you guys because I, oh my to, I have to go. I have a radio show to do and I'm not going to let you guys down. So, uh, I okay. appreciate so it. We're going to finish everyone. shooting tomorrow. Oh, oh okay. Wow. So you're shooting already. Busy. So, yeah. yeah so um, we're shooting for that. And I'm still waiting for um, 
the other two films. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't shoot because I'm, you know, the movie that I was going to do, I have a kissing scene, so they're not allowing that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Joking. You mean Crystal? <laughs> <Hey. laughs> uh, no, no, the film industry. She's not allowing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh anyway charles we thank you for joining us today and as you said your schedule is tight so we know you you probably had yeah, to squeeze so us in I between awful. some other things i apologize you i look apologize great. for wearing a hat i'm letting my hair grow for the for the movie because Panji is a wild crazy movie so i'm letting my hair grow okay. real long for that. yeah so, i'm used I'm to seeing sorry. you in a suit I know, right? Suit and tie. Yeah. I, I was going to do that, but I, I, but I've been running ragged all all weekend. So, um, sorry about the hat. Sorry about the clothes. I'll get you that. I'll, I'll be you in the suit next time. <laughs> well, we um we discussed trying to get a chance to come to your studio once we get a chance to start traveling more because we want to stop in because we don't want to wait till January to see you. Mm -hmm. We want to see you guys before that. There come into go. the studio, yeah. into the dojo, and you know. Maybe that'd be all. Take a you guys can come anytime. You're welcome anytime. You know that. Appreciate so, yeah, it. Definitely. I would love to see you guys. Sure. All right. We, we, we have a lot of trips to do. We're going to uh, meet, uh, meet um, Luis. 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 Oh, we're going to meet Luis. Luis? Okay. Yeah. We've been setting up a lot of meetings during this quarantine. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, Luis says, <laughs> nice interview. Thanks. Great to see you all. Um, Karen says, that would be great to see you soon. So, and with that being said, Charles, we thank you for joining us today. Um, so we will be in touch and hope to see you before January. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to talk, now we're gonna talk about you. <laughs> God bless. Us. Right. Us. 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 <laughs> hey. Okay. That was great. Yeah, as always, eh? all the guests that we have have mm -hmm. been great. Um, now, um, it's good that we had him because he's doing film and also wrote a book. Oh, yes. Now, we're coming to the ending of um, Authors. And what are we going to start doing now? We're going to freestyle. We're going to invite people. John Cerrone is coming on now on Monday. John Cerrone, Jane, and Andre Turan. They are great local. They are great local. They have been doing some really, really cool stuff that I actually got a chance to be a part of over the quarantine. And we are going to have them on Monday. What's today? Monday. Today's, today is Friday. I have Today's no Friday. idea what day it is. Today's Friday. So Monday's Monday at 8 p.m. So we're going to adjust the time a little bit um, because we are hoping that all goes well and we'll be able to open the gym next week. So we're going to switch the program to, to, eight to 8 p.m. Um, Jan Turan. Uh, so we're really excited about having them on. We, right. we, we actually, actually, Ramona... Um, was coming into the lives and she was watching the lives before and she had her name happened to pop up and you said hey we should have them on so right so um, we're going to have them on and both coming on we yeah. have a lot of mus musicians and uh, coming on mm -hmm. i just don't know what day we're going to put them on but uh, there's a lot of musicians new music yes and hopefully we're getting to play a little bit yeah that would be um, great we also going to have jug jugglers oh yes yes, yes. oh my gonna gosh be, yes. it's, it's going to be fun so make sure you stay tuned. Yes. Thank you again for joining us at 7.30 uh, twice a week, live on Facebook, on Tweed Talks. But now it's going to change to 8 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> it yes. says 7.30. But it's like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Have and a good night. And come back on Monday. <laughs>